Welcome to Punky's World. Um, I'm going to do this special video about the Iron Sheik. He passed away, or as I said in the other video, passed it away. <laughs> um, earlier today, at the age of 81. Um, his name was Hossein Kosoro Ali Vaziri. Um, he was Persian, Iranian. Um, he was born March 15, 1943, by our calendar. But because of where he grew up, they went back and forth between our calendar, which is the Georgian calendar, and I, 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 where is it? Um, early life, here we go. The Georgian calendar and the solar Hygiri calendar. It's an Iranian calendar. The Georgian calendar is our calendar, I believe. Used in most parts of the world, yeah. Um, he idolized Iranian Olympic gold medalist, I'm going to screw up this name royally, Golama Reza, Golama Reza Takiti, Golama Reza, Golama Reza Takiti, and he subsequently made a name for himself as an amateur wrestler. He also worked as a bodyguard for Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi and his family for several years. Um, he, um, was on Iran's Greco-Roman wrestling team for the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City. He then moved to the United States and became the assistant coach of two U.S. Olympic squads in the 1970s. In 1971, he was the Amateur Athletic Union Greco-Roman Wrestling Champion Gold Medalist at 180 and a half pounds. He later became assistant coach to the U.S. team for the 1972 Olympic Games in Munich. And it was at that time he was um, Um, he became the World Wrestling Federation champion, a silver medalist in the Olympics. Um, he teamed with Nikolai Volkov. They were managed by Classy Freddie Blassie. They won the World Tag Team Championships from Mike Rotondo and Barry Windham, who were brothers in law, um, at the first WrestleMania. Um, he often used Iranian clubs, which which was a, a sport in Iran. They're, they're big, heavy clubs, and he would challenge wrestlers to spin them as many times as he could. Nobody could. Um, excuse me.
um, I remember this, she could get on the microphone and say, Iran number one, Russia number one, USA, followed by a simulated spitting act. Um, he was voiced by Aaron Kincaid in the Hulk Hogan um, cartoon. And Freddie Blassie retired and Slick began managing the two. He, him and Jack saw Jim Duggan were her, um, um, He um, left the company and then he came back the following year working house shows. Then he began to work primetime wrestling. Because um, like I said, he and um, Jim Duggan were actually arrested for drugs. <laughs> so... Um, the last time he was active in the World Wrestling Federation, he was, or WWE, um, Colonel Mustafa for, um, Sergeant Slaughter who had turned against the American flag and gone on the side of Iraq. Well, there's only one problem with having the Iron Sheik do that. That is, Iran and Iraq don't like each other. Um, his partner Nikolai Volkov passed away a few years ago. Um, 
he actually has an interesting history himself. Oh boy, I can't even say Nikolai's real name. Joseph? Pervoy? Peruzovic. Peruzovic. Uh, he's a Croatian American wrestler from Yugoslavia. Okay, he grew up in Croatia, which was part of Yugoslavia. Um, as I was saying, I think He was, he was, okay, he, like Darren Sheik, was a champion Greco-Roman wrestler. Um, oh no, his grandfather, Anti Tama Sevic, was a world champion in Greco, in Greco-Roman wrestling. At the turn of the century, and he was born in Cetina, Croatia. Um, Volkov was a weightlifter for Yugoslavia. He emigrated to Canada in 1967 and he received training from Stu Hart. Um, now, there is a thing about the Iron Sheik that his family released today, and I want to read it to you. Whoops. Today we gather with heavy hearts to bid farewell to a true legend, a, fi a force of nature and an iconic figure who left an incredible mark on the world of professional wrestling. It is with great sadness that we share the news of the passing of the Iron Sheik, but we also take solace in knowing that he departed this world peacefully, leaving behind a legacy that will endure for generations to come. Beyond the wrestling persona, that the world knew so well. The Iron Sheik was a devoted family man 
He cherished the love and support of his wife of 47 years. Carol, C-A-R-Y-L, <clears throat> who stood by his side through thick and thin, offering unwavering encouragement throughout his life. Their bond was an anchor, providing him with the strength to face the challenges that life presented to his children, Tanya, Nikki, Marissa, and son-in-law, Eddie. He was not just a wrestling icon, he was a loving and dedicated father. He instilled in them the values of perseverance, determination, and the importance of following their dreams. The Iron Sheik's guidance and unwavering belief in their potential served as a driving force for his children, empowering them to become the best versions of themselves. There's more. Throughout his career, the Iron Sheik became a cultural phenomenon, transcending the realm of professional wrestling to become a pop culture icon. His memorable catchphrases phrase, and unforgettable moments are, are etched in the memories of fans worldwide. He left an indelible mark on the industry, and his influence can still. And <coughs> okay. As we bid farewell to the Iron Sheik, let us remember him not only for his athletic prowess, but also for the joy and inspiration he brought into our lives. His legacy will continue to live on in the hearts and minds of fans, as well as the annals of wrestling history. To his family, friends, and all those who were touched by his larger-than-life presence, we offer our deepest condolences. May you find solace in the knowledge that the Iron Sheik's legacy will forever be cherished and celebrated. Rest in peace, dear Sheik. And thank you for the memories. And there's another section. The Iron Sheik's love also extended to his grandchildren. Marissa, Zahara, uh, no, Zara, sorry. Alexis, Chloe, and Nika, who brought immeasurable joy to his life. As a doting Papa Sheik, he cherished every moment spent with them, creating memories that will forever be treasured. He shared his wisdom, humor, and zest for life with his grandchildren, leaving an incredible impression on their hearts. The Iron Sheik, whose real name was Hossein Kosaro Ali Vaziri, transcended the realm of sports entertainment with his larger-than-life persona, incredible charisma, un unparalleled in-ring skills. He captivated audiences around the globe. He was a trailblazer, breaking barriers and paving the way for a diverse range of wrestlers who followed in his footsteps. Beyond the glitz and glamour of the squared circle, the Iron Sheik was a man of immense passion and dedication. He embodied resiliency, overcame countless challenges in his life, both inside and outside the ring. His journey from a small village in Iran to becoming one of the most recognizable figures in the world of wrestling is a testament to his unwavering determination. Um, this is from his Twitter page, the Iron Sheik Twitter page. Um, That's so funny. <laughs>
calm. Oh, that's right. His oldest daughter was murdered by her boyfriend in 2003. I had forgotten about that. He was a Shia Muslim, and he was a soldier in the Imperial Iranian Army. The best man at his wedding was Eugene Oakland, whom he often called Jean Mean. <laughs> I remember that. Now, a Shia Muslim. Um, if you get a chance to watch his documentary, I highly recommend it. Um, it's it was definitely talk about him getting off the drugs, and it wasn't easy. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to get these edited and uploaded so that um, they'll be all set before I leave. And I'm going to get my food and eat before I leave. Excuse me. Please subscribe. Um, if you're new or if you've watched a few videos, thank you so much. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers by August 4th. God bless you. Bye-bye.